This video will be demonstrating the pivot shift test for identifying an ACL deficiency. Let's start by seeing how the physical examination is performed. This test should be performed with the patient starting in a supine position. Start by flexing the hip to around 30 to 40 degrees. Next, slightly internally rotate the tibia. Apply a valgus stress to the knee. Finally, slowly begin to flex the knee. A positive sign is when there is a clunk that is felt and heard by the examiner, followed by rapid flexion of the knee. The ACL and PCL are two very important ligaments in the knee. In this example, the ACL is white and the PCL is grey. The ACL originates from the medial aspect of the lateral condyle of the femur, and it inserts in the intercondylaris anterior on the tibia. Due to its orientation and its sites of insertion, the ACL acts mainly to resist anterior translation of the tibia. It also resists medial translation and internal rotation. Another important structure for the pivot shift test is the IT band, which originates from the iliac crest and inserts at the lateral condyle of the tibia. Due to the position of the IT band relative to the position of the knee joint, the moment force produced by the IT band helps maintain the extended position of the knee. However, when the knee is flexed, the change in the relative position of the IT band causes its moment force to further flex the knee. Now let's see how the pivot shift test works. Again, start by flexing the hip to 30 to 40 degrees. In the case of an ACL deficiency, Internally rotating the tibia will allow it to translate anteriorly. When a valgus stress is also applied, the tibia is further subluxed, causing the lateral condyle of the tibia to be trapped between the two femoral condyles. Let's go back to the concept involving the IT band. When you begin to flex the knee, the moment force produced by the IT band will further aid the flexion. This dorsally facing force will also pull the tibia dorsally, helping to reduce the sublux joint. This reduction will lead to a clunking felt by the examiner, accompanied by a rapid completion of the flexion movement.